Um, I don't really have a favorite color. I think my favorite color might be black, only because I've been required to wear it so much. So it may be like a subconscious thing. But uh, I like all colors. I like anything. When I made it, I like it. See, see, that's a hard question because I can have like the local influences and the big ones. Both. Okay, right off the bat, Steve McKee, George Spanky McCurdy, uh, and the third one is Miscellaneous. I mean, because I think it could be like a combination of people, but definitely Steve McKee and George Spanky McCurdy. Adam Blackstone, you know what I mean, you know, okay. the family. Man, so I don't know what my next project is, but uh, well, there's a lot of projects we could talk about. Uh, the summer camp is happening. Um, I'm releasing new music, so I guess the next project project is the release of my new song, uh, Sam's Invite, uh, Mara Baby. Okay. That's the next, technically the next project. Andre three thousand. Andre, three stacks. Three stacks. Because I think three stacks, he has the, to me, he, to me, he's the only one that may represent me the best in the present day music world um, in regards to what's relevant to what, what's relevant to um, today's era. So like, and if, you know, like he has a little jazz, trap, you know, he has a little hip hop. He has some of everything, so I'm going to say three stacks. Um, and if it wasn't three stacks, it would be David Bowie. But three stacks, as far as present day, I would just love to work with him. He's the best. The main thing that I can expect, that the people out there who are paying attention to me can expect is, uh, is a different sound. I don't want to say a, a different sound. It'll be a familiar sound. But for the most part, it'll be a sound that, uh, you know, like, people may be not be so confident to put out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, gonna, I'm putting out, like, pretty much this freedom of music. Like, it's jazz, it's trap, it's, like, R&B, like, it's, it's Bilal, like, it's Coltrane, like, it's, it's, it's 3K, three stacks, like, it's, it's everything. So, just expect to hear the, the familiar unexpected. Or, or like the unexpected familiar but it's a little bit of both so just expect like whatever <laughs> biggest influences probably my god brother um austin woodland um we call him buddy well i call him but his name is bud but his legal name is austin woodland um he pretty much got me uh got me started like uh we would be at church at Shallow Temple, Master Street, North Philadelphia, and um, he would get up and play for the youth choir. He was always good, he could play, and I saw that, and I said, man, I want to be able to sit on the organ and sit down. I was always inspired by my God brother, and um, I used to make him, like, I used to go to his house in between services or on the weekends, spend the night, and um, I would make him show me things, and like, so Austin, he was probably the one person who made me want to play. You know, and I appreciate that, bud, because that's, you know, changed my life forever so much. Well, um, see, now the thing is that overall, what I want to do is I want to inspire. I want to inspire, period. But um, there's a specific focus that I, for the summer camp that I am focusing on. And that focus is helping young musicians who want to be professionals, get to the professional level, or at least get on the path to the professional level. Because a lot of young musicians, they, they, they're they talented, but they don't know how to get to a stage, or, or, or how can they get on tour? Like there's people who are my age now that, 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 that have never been on a, a bigger tour, or never done something that they feel as though they want to do, only simply because they just don't know how, they may be missing little things. So this can't, is for me to take the up-and-coming musicians and help them on the right path to become professionals. As far as musically, technically the music, how they play, their playing ability, the business, um, the way of life, the character, so on and so forth. Wow.
the church was very influential because it was my platform. It was my only platform to play because there wasn't no, no other platforms at the time. So it was my platform to learn, my platform to perform, my platform to make mistakes. It was everything at the time because that was all I knew was church, especially with the way I grew up and how my mother was. Um, she was very, you know, um, churchy lady. So everything was always church. So it was a very big influence in what I'm doing now because it was the, you know, the reason for me even being, you know, because I had there was an opportunity there. If it wasn't there I, no opportunity, I wouldn't be where I am right now. So church was very influential in, in like the music thing for sure. Unreroute the rivers. The next four years, I'm probably gonna run from there <laughs> and win. Uh, but uh, I think that the camp will be you know, progressing very heavily as it is already. And, you know, we're hearing, this is the, when you're watching, this, I'm retaping this during the first week of accepting parents. And, you know, we have maybe like eight or nine confirmed already within a day. So by the time you all see this, there's no telling what it would be. But um, the camp will be big. Um, I'm looking forward to a crazy summer musically. I have a lot of things going on as far as my music career for those who follow my music career. Um, different records, uh, different tour, new tour coming, a tour I'm excited about. Um, so I just, you know, look to be at, um, everything will be on, you know, in motion. Uh, you know, that's what I look forward to in the near future. That is, um, there's some other things coming up with my food network. Um, like, you know, like we're thinking about, like starting a restaurant, as crazy as that sounds, we're about to have a restaurant. So, um. There's a lot of things, you know, that uh, we're expecting in the near future. Now, for those of you who really know me, know that I'm going to say the best part of touring is the catering and, and, and being able to go to different restaurants in different cities. I know I love music, but I'm telling you right now, that's the best part of touring going to different cities and 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 eating different foods and 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 the catering and just experiencing different restaurants and how and then the culture that's also good when you go overseas you can see how other people leave live how much people really hate america um that's always fun um i got it so the culture and the food is always the best parts of touring and then of course you know being able to play in front of an audience it's, you know, always the, the, the automatic highlight, you know, because that's what you dream of. So so those three things for sure, the, the audience, the music, and the food. Yeah, well, I'll talk music talk for the first part. Um, learn the record. Um, anything you hear on the record, you, you, you play verbatim, especially when you're on the road. That's the major, it's major key, major thing. Learn the record, play verbatim. Um, number one, stay stay humble because there's always someone better than you. There's always gonna be someone that can that can embarrass the hell out of you. But like, although they can embarrass you, there will never be anyone that can be a better than you. So you always have the best to offer that you have and always make sure you're at a high level. You know, so that way when it's time, when people hear you, they say, okay, we want this guy because of this particular thing. Um, save your money. Don't spend all your money. You don't gotta go crazy. You don't gotta buy a whole bunch of stuff. Hold on to your money and just be grateful. And, and if you do those things, like you, like stuff will happen. You don't even know where it comes from. Like, like things will just happen. And the next thing you know, you'll be falling into your career. Like, you know, like making a, a good amount of money, money, just chilling. You know, just because you're just doing the simple thing. So, like, just, you know, listen to your peers. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, stay focused, stay relevant. Know what's going on around you. And you'll be good, for sure. This right here, I'm having a summer camp. Amp camp. What does amp camp stands for? Arts, music, and progression. That's what it means. Um, it's a small camp where we are going to be um, teaching young musicians how to become professional musicians. Um, a lot of open panel discussion. We have different classes such as um, 
music conversation, music uh, theory, uh, meditation, reflection. We have an English math class. We have some special guests, Adam Blackstone, Steve McKee. They've worked with Rihanna, Lady Gaga, Joe Scott, Kendrick the Family Soul. It's a lot going on, but uh, yes, AMP Camp. Um, pretty much this is a camp where we want to help kids find out what steps it takes to be to, to make a living off this, to become to make this your profession. Um, our, our theme is we teach the skills of the day to tomorrow to the musicians of tomorrow. We teach the skills of today to the musicians of tomorrow. So um, yes, amp camp coming up right in North Philly, right in my neighborhood, 33rd and Diamond. You see it? Come on through.